Paul went on a preaching spell here. Paul's central theme here in talking uh, to the idolatrous uh, philosophers was the relationship between the visible and the invisible and Paul tries to communicate to them the futility of that idolatry by dealing with the visible and notice here down here at verse 30 he says truly these times of ignorance God overlooked but now commands all men everywhere to repent see to bring them to a point of decision the Apostle Paul drops a, a verbal bombshell on them and he tells them, listen, now I'm, I've been tolerated this stuff as much as I can tolerate. He said, listen, y'all better repent or you're going to bust hell wide open. <laughs> but Paul, had to just, Paul said, listen, y'all need to repent. Y'all, all this idolatry, Paul was provoked in his spirit. Paul says, you need to repent. He was in no mood for a debate. Paul, Paul was in the line. I didn't come in to debate. He was, Paul said, listen, uh-uh. He said, listen, God, it's sundry times. He, he, he winked at this foolishness. But he says, right now, God's not even, he's not even playing with y'all. He says, God is commanding men now everywhere to repent. Paul was fed up. He just lost his cool. I mean, he didn't say, you are so wise and perhaps we can sit down and learn from each other. Paul said, listen, you, you go on hell. He said, you better repent. <laughs> You better repent. Paul had to bring it on in. He, Paul drove them to a point of decision. He, pulled, he drove them to a point of decision. He was trying to tell them to repent of trying to shape the divine nature into art and architecture through the fashioning of idols and temples. And so he was, he was really trying to get on them to, to let them know that they should worship the invisible God, not the visible objects fronting for demonic powers. And then notice down in verse 32. And when they heard the resurrection of the dead, some mocked while others said, we will hear you again on this matter. Now see, the Athenian philosophers by this time, they had endured Paul as long as they could endure Paul until he mentioned the resurrection. And that was enough for them. Their tolerance had been stretched now to a breaking point. And they were telling Paul, Paul, don't call us, we'll call you. They, they, they said, we, 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 we're finished here. End of discussion. We, we, we've heard as much as we can hear. But Paul's speech on Mars Hill was impeccable and theologically sound. Yet it was skillfully contextualized to the culture of the Greek philosophers. But if we judge Paul's speech in terms of its effectiveness for debate, he failed because most of them were not converted.